We like the verse that says, God shall supply all of our needs. We love that verse because, well, we think that he's going to supply all of our needs. But I want you to think about something. Remember Paul? Paul had that thorn in his flesh and he asked God to remove it. And God said, no, my grace is sufficient. In some sense, he wasn't fulfilling the needs of Paul, at least not the way Paul wanted it. He was saying, no, I'm not going to give you what you want. In other words, sometimes what God is going to do is leave that thing in our lives because it's going to perfect something in us that God is trying to make work. We don't like that all the time. We don't like the fact that we have to deal with impatience or anger or other issues going on in our lives. We don't recognize that the hardships that we're going through may be there to help us grow and to become something that otherwise without it we wouldn't be. We're too quick to, well, to try to get things out of our lives, to make our lives peaceful and tranquil. But is that what God wants in us? God wants us to be warriors, to be ambassadors, to be his witness, to be his children, to represent him. And that means that we will go through things that will well help to shape and form us into whom God is creating in us. And that isn't always what we want. It's not always what we like. So here's the challenge. The next time you say that verse, the next time you say, God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches, remember it's according to his riches, according to him. That's how he's going to do it, not according to you, not according to what you want or what you think is best for you. God has a plan. And that plan doesn't always include your comfort. Think about that today, would you? Hey, until next time, God bless.